What's up guys, Motorblade here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to do an all-over LED upgrade to your Harley Sportster. You guys can see I've got one in already, I was just doing a test fit and it is freaking bright. And then it goes uh, amber for the turn signal. So we're going to go all the way around the bike doing turn signals front and rear. This is the cheapest way you can do this from Amazon on your Sportster, and it will make your bike look absolutely awesome. Let's get to it. As always, everything for this install will be linked down in the description so you guys can go buy these parts for yourself and it's easier to get to them that way. So as you can see here, this is our old cover, the amber cover, and we're gonna have new smoked covers for the new setup. They're gonna come individually wrapped in these little packages, your new turn signals, and they marked which ones were the front, so that was helpful. The only tool I recommend that you really need for this project is a flathead screwdriver. Don't absolutely have to have it, but it will make getting the old covers off a lot easier. So let's go over to the bike and do one. So on our old cover here, I was going to clean the bug guts off, but since I figure I'm just replacing the cover anyway, I will do a good cleaning of the bike after this. You're looking for a lip. You can actually see it through the front. It's gonna be down here. You can turn these sometimes, oh, make it easier to get to. So I just rotated this around to get that little lip on top. Put our flathead screwdriver in there, push out just a little, and get your flathead behind it a little bit more, and that'll pop right out. So for this light, just push in gently, twist left, about a quarter turn, it'll pop out. Grab your new turn signal that says front. You've got two little knobs here, two little buttons, one here on this side, one on this side. They go into the grooves that are in here, so you're gonna line that up, push in, and twist a, about a quarter turn to the right. Just took a little more pressure than I thought. So in, about an eighth to quarter of a turn, it's locked in place. Then all you have to do is just kind of situate this in here like that and it will sit flat against your old reflector and then we put our new smoke cover on it all right this is a little difficult to do with one hand but we're gonna try it go to your home light get in the hole there we go all right so there are our new blacked out turn signals on the front let's go ahead and turn the key on uh, from the way it looks on the back of the camera here, it's showing you that it's just kind of all lit up. I'm not sure how well you can see it. Oh, that's better. Okay, so that's just the outer ring. That's your driving light that's lit up. And then when you want to turn, your turn signal lights up the amber inner rings. So that's the process for the front. Now we're going to go back and do the tail lights. One other thing for you guys to note, if you don't have any dielectric grease, make sure you... Uh, there's excessive amount on the old bulb that was in there, so I've just been wiping these on the old contacts to get a little, very gently, just to get a little bit of grease on the new contact, and there's still a bunch left inside the actual socket, so don't worry too much if you don't have it, because there's an excessive amount already on there from Harley. Here's our brake light. And now here's our turn signal. Now as you guys can tell, when I hit the turn signal there, the LED went into a hyper flash. That has to do with the resistance of modern LEDs versus old halogens and the electrical setup. So they've included resistors in this setup as well if you want to eliminate the hyperflash. Personally, I like the hyperflash. I think it draws more attention to the bike, which in turn would keep you safer, helps people notice you. 
I do not mind the hyper flash, mainly because I don't have to look at it. So I am leaving it just the way it is because I like it. But if you wanted to reduce the hyper flash, they do include these. So that's going to do it for our turn signal LED and blacked out uh, cover kit. I think it looks pretty sharp on the bike. I especially like the look on the bike when the key is turned off back here. Before you had these big red plastic covers, now the rear end is just blacked out. The smoke black look makes it just look finished and sharp, I think. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, anything you want to ask me about this install, please leave a comment down below. I try to get back to as many of you guys as I can, and I have no problem answering questions if you're trying to do this installation and maybe you need a little guidance. I will do my best to help you guys out and get back to you. So that's going to wrap this video up, guys. It's a very simple, very easy installation. In the next video, we are going to get to the headlamp. So the headlamp is going to be a Amazon special also. Very inexpensive, very easy to do. Will make the bike look a whole lot better. So you don't want to miss that video. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. It's the big red button down below. Click the bell icon next to it. That'll give you guys notifications when there are new videos to watch here on Motoblade. If you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. That lets me know you liked it, and that helps us get this video out to more people who are interested in the Iron 883, or in my case, the 1275. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, ride safe, ride on. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.